So uh, maybe you know that uh, this project started uh, from the Debian Academy. Debian Academy, uh, as you know, is an initiative that uh, uh, would like to build uh, training courses about uh, Debian in general and uh, especially about uh, maintaining it and developing uh, Debian. Uh, we started a couple of years ago, but uh, so far it didn't have much uh, uh, much uh, uh, support or attention. And I thought that uh, maybe it is better to start with a course that uh, we uh, will uh, teach people how to organize online uh, courses. And uh, my idea or the, the aim is that uh, people then will, will start to share their uh, experience uh, with uh, other people in online courses. So they will organize online courses in order to share their experience with uh, other people, their experience about uh, maintaining and developing uh, uh, Debian. So I, I had some uh, experience uh, about organizing online courses. Last year, I uh, did a course about uh, Linux command uh, line about Linux commands. And so um, I had to uh, figure out a lot of uh, things uh, about a lot of things. I, I knew all of this something. I, I was familiar uh, with Moodle. I've been familiar with Moodle for uh, five or six years. Um, and I, I've been using Big Blue Button for two or three years since since the time, time of pandemic. And I saw that uh, Moodle and Big Blue Button can be integrated very well with uh, each other. And uh, also a couple of uh, a couple of other things. For example, uh, during pandemic, I developed uh, the so-called virtual computer lab, uh, which allows uh, uh, remote teachers and students to collaborate with each other. And this is something that can be used in uh, online course uh, as well. And uh, although Moodle is a very complex uh, software, uh, actually to build a simple course, a, ba a basic course, you need just uh, a few uh, things. Uh, uh, you you don't have to use all of its features. And uh, so a short, a short course like this with uh, three or four meetings should be enough to uh, get people started with Moodle and and the other tools. Wow! Wow! You did you did a great job. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, uh, excellent, excellent. So where where are you where are you um, connected from? Uh, I'm in Albania right now, but I'm using a VPN, so probably my IP looks like it, it is coming from Germany or something. Oh, like okay, okay, that's interesting. Um, um, would it would it make sense that all of us introduce ourselves a bit? Yes, of course. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, my name is Frank. I'm connected from Freiburg in Germany, in the southeast of uh, southwest of Germany, and I'm familiar with uh, giving courses and also online courses since uh, let's say 2007, 2008. And so I'm giving courses or giving classes in both German and English. I did Linux courses, Python courses, PHP trainings, and um, yeah, with a little number of people, with up to 15 people, with different, um, let's say, with different software, with different um, connection software. And so it's always a bit of a hassle to get it running, but I know how difficult it can be. So I really appreciate, I really appreciate uh, this course because um, I think it gives a good opportunity just to share what we've done so far and also share our experiences. So I look, look forward to see who has our experiences and also to, to learn new stuff um, using, um, using Moodle. Thanks a lot, Frank. Uh, if somebody else would like to uh, introduce himself or to say something about the course, uh, please feel free to uh, unmute yourself if you are muted. And uh, although I see that most of the people have log logged in with uh, just listening uh, only, so they are just they have disabled the the microphone. 
So probably we are not going to see uh, other people uh, speaking. So I, I would like to uh, to start with a simple uh, poll. In... Shantial Shan okay. is joining. Okay. Yes. Uh, you can introduce yourself if if you wish. But uh, she is only with uh, listening. She she has not enabled the microphone. So if you have not enabled the microphone, you can reload the the browser, the tab of the big blue button, and then uh, uh, log in to the to the to the big blue button room with uh, with microphone. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, fine. Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my, yeah, name is okay. uh, my name is Shanti. Uh, I'm a retired um, IT professional living in um, UK, uh, in a village called Holmes Chapel, which is not very far from Manchester. Uh, my interest in this course is uh, obviously I want to learn more about uh, Moodle. I've, um, done a lot of courses on um, uh, uh, learning management systems and i did try to uh, set moodle up uh, some time ago uh, i uh, work with a group of people uh, who develop something called uh, internet in a box uh, which is an open source um, piece of software which allows you to use uh, internet content um, on things like Raspberry Pi and uh, laptops and computers uh, uh, where you don't actually have the actual internet um, connection. So it's basically a local server, which is a Wi-Fi hotspot. So what we're doing is we're building a lot of um, computer labs in Africa for schools in Africa. And one of the things obviously is, is uh, for, for teachers to exploit all this uh, internet in a box content is to be able to learn uh, Linux and uh, all the other technologies that allow us to build servers and um, uh, install content and things like that. So really, uh, uh, I was interested in your comment about the virtual computer lab, uh, which could be a very useful tool for us because you know, we've got teachers um, in many parts of Africa who are interested in learning. And if you can use some kind of technology as a virtual lab uh, and do some courses or also uh, create courses on platforms like Moodle, and you can host Moodle on effectively, you know, a, a Raspberry Pi or, a, a, and they can do some learning by themselves that would be uh, ideal so that's where i'm coming from so and i also want to learn a bit more about debian and uh, i use uh, a linux mint uh, quite a lot on laptops that we build uh, use raspin raspian i've been using raspberry pis for a long time uh, but obviously want to understand more about uh, putting drivers on debian and um, making sure that when we do test a new version of internet in a box that it runs okay on Debian. So eventually I want to learn a bit more about Debian as well. Thank you, Sean. Uh, somebody else would like to introduce himself? Hey folks, how are you? I mean, I'm Paulo from Brazil. So I'm here to learn how to use it, uh, how, how to create a course. And uh, I intended to create one for the future. I did create some courses about how to translate Debian to Portuguese here. So because it, we have some videos on YouTube, but for the future, we can have some some course to help people to, to translate Debian. It's it. I've never created one one course, but I think it's it will be very nice. Nice to meet you all. Yes, it is going to be easy. You will see that creating a Moodle course will be easy. Nice. I don't so, know somebody. Okay. Um, Paulo, so you are translating, you are translating stuff. You are translating Debian to Portuguese. 
Did I get yeah, that yeah. right? I'm a member of the translation translation Portuguese team here in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And and uh, we always have someone asking how to how they can how they can start to translate uh, web pages and the packages packages and uh, everything else to Portuguese. And uh, we have to 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 teach to show them how to do it. And I was talking with the the other member of the group that you maybe you can have a, a course about that, and you have some people to to learn and work together for the future. Okay, that's quite that's quite interesting. Yeah. Um, my my Debian my Debian involvement is that um, a friend of mine and I we wrote uh, the Debian package management book, which is available as a Debian package. I think since. 2015. It's currently only available in German, ah, but, nice, it's, um, nice. but it's um, called Debian Management Book. Um, it's available as a package. And it's nice. It was a lot of work, but it's fun. That's why <laughs> we do. That's why we do that. Yeah, yeah. And there, are I mean, there, I... there are some missing parts in it. I mean, Debian developer too. I work. I contribute to Debian with packaging, so I'm yeah, I'm a contributor with packaging and translation. I think it's it's nice, and uh, some people has has done some videos in about how to packaging too. So maybe you can have this on a, a course or a model. It would be nice too. Yeah, would be would be a great idea. I could also learn how to do that properly. Okay, uh, we can uh, continue. Uh, I uh, I'm trying to do a big blue button poll just uh, uh, to demonstrate uh, how to do it. Uh, let me see. Uh, do Do you see what I'm uh, doing on my screen? So on, on this uh, plus uh, there is. Uh, start a poll, and then uh, we can write a question here. For example, for example, how did you learn about this course? Oh, okay, that is quite interesting. Okay, and uh, a, a couple of options. For example, uh, Debian mailing list. Uh, Social media, I don't know, for example, Twitter or LinkedIn. Other sources, and I'm deleting this option. And then uh, start a poll. And you should, should be able to select one of these options on the screen. Okay. Uh, yeah, we see we see the poll. We can we can click one of the one of the buttons. Yes. Yeah. This one of your, the options. Yeah. This is, and, uh, this is your intention, right? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Now let, let me try to to publish a poll. Uh, however, there, there is a catch that uh, the the option the poll results are are shown on the. Uh, okay, uh, they they are shown on, on the presentation. So Debian mailing list uh, two uh, two people forty percent, social media one one person uh, twenty percent, and other. Uh, let's go to another page. Let's uh, let's try uh, another poll. For example, uh, uh, what is your relation to uh, Debian? Well, that's a, that's a very good question. You have to make it. You have to make it clickable for several boxes. Yeah, uh, and uh, maybe you are a Debian developer. Uh, may, maybe you are a maintainer, Debian package maintainer. Uh, maybe you are just a user.
or something else, or none of them, no. none of the above. Now we are seeing just a blink. Blink what? Uh, what? Okay. We could we so, couldn't see you typing, just the blink page, I think. Uh, okay, I, I don't know, but uh, this is for the. Uh, For the administrator, or okay, Gerald has jo just joined us. So this is for moderator. So the moderator can uh, add a poll here. Uh, start, start can start a poll, and now I am publishing the poll results, and they, they are uh, showed. Uh, they are displayed on the on the presentation uh, page. So in the first page, we have the result of the other of the other poll on, on the next. Uh, page of the presentation, uh, we have the results of, of this poll. And uh, actually, uh, I, I have prepared a, a survey, a short survey with some uh, questions on, on, the, on the course, so that uh, you, you can complete it if, if you wish uh, after, after, the, after the meeting or even during the meeting, because it, it should take just a couple of uh, minutes. Let me share the screen again. And uh, go to the Mod Moodle course. And uh, this is uh, a quick survey, but it is uh, currently it is hidden from the students. Uh, I go to the edit mode, and uh, here I make it uh, visible. And you can find it on the on the page of the course. But I can also share the the link of the poll on the chat, public chat. And the, uh, let's see what are uh, the questions. So, uh, how did you find about this course? Uh, what is your affiliation to Debian? These two questions that I just uh, did. Uh, are, are you planning to get involved with uh, Debian Academy? Are you planning to organize a course uh, in, in the near future? Uh, do you have any previous experience with uh, teaching? Do you have any previous experience with Big Blue Button? Uh, do you have any previous experience with uh, Moodle? Uh, these are multiple choice uh, questions, and these are uh, questions that, that you can type something. Do you have any comments or suggestions for this course? Do you have any uh, comments or suggestions for Debian Academy? All the questions are optional, so uh, even all the survey is optional, so you can, uh, you can complete it or, or not, uh, as you like. And, uh, Actually, here on the course, uh, there is the descri description that probably you have already read uh, about this course. Uh, I already uh, told, uh, uh, I described it a little bit at the beginning, but uh, the, the way that we are going to proceed in this uh, training is that uh, I'm going to show something uh, on Moodle and then uh, you, you are going to repeat it on your course because I'm going to create a, a test course. For, for each of the participants, uh, so that uh, you can uh, get hands-on experience on, on Moodle. And uh, for for this uh, for this reason, uh, you have to have a course in mind that you want to to teach in the near future. Uh, maybe a real course, or maybe just just an example, so that uh, you, you can just follow the the instructions. And uh, for for this course, you need uh, you need to have to to uh, to have a title for the course, a description, and maybe some resources. Uh, that, that's enough uh, for this course. And uh, you already know probably that uh, we are planning to make uh, four meetings. Uh, this is the the first one, uh, and starting from the from the next meeting, uh, we are going to. Uh, Try some uh, uh, exercises on, on on Moodle. We will start to to build a course. And uh, what else? And we, we are also going to try a virtual uh, computer lab. Uh, I'm I'm uh, trying to log in there now. Uh, this is lab. .fs .ar. Uh, I will copy. And share the link to the, to the chat. Uh, 
and uh, we get this uh, Apache Guacamole uh, login. Uh, and in this in this uh, login, we can uh, use the username Debian and the password Academy. Uh, if, if it is easy for you, you can uh, you can follow the instructions and open open it uh, with me. And then we choose this uh, LXDE RDP connection. I will make this full screen because it is easier to, to work with. I assume there's a virtual machine behind it, right? Yes. Uh, the, the, actually, it is uh, on a Docker container. Uh, Guacamole is on a Docker container and also uh, the uh, machine behind it is on a Docker container. Thank you. Thank you for setting this up. It looks great. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, look, uh, I'm logging with my username, which is the same as my uh, uh, my first name. Also, your username is the sa same as your first name and my password. Uh, your initial password is the same as your uh, as your email, the email that you use to uh, to subscribe for the for the course, and one of the tools that is installed here, is installed here is a uh, Epoptes, and uh, with Epoptes I I can see which users are logged in in this uh, in this virtual server. And. If I uh, if I want to share my screen in order to, to demonstrate something, uh, I can select uh, all the users and then broadcast screen uh, windowed, and then you should be able to to see my my screen. And uh, I will stop broadcasting. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We see that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is. Yeah, the, this is for uh, demonstrating something. So if I want to demonstrate how to do something, then I would broadcast my my screen to all the participants. And uh, this is stop broadcasting. And uh, I can also uh, get access to one of the desktops. For example, uh, let, let's access the desktop of uh, Frank. If double click. Uh, I, I am now in, inside the desktop of uh, Frank, and uh, we can we can both work simultaneously at, at the same time. For example, uh, uh, right now it is uh, me who is opening the the menu and, uh, for example, opening a browser. It's very interesting to see someone operating on my screen without me doing anything. Uh, yes, uh, and this is, for example, in case you have any problems, you, you can use this environment to uh, to log into the uh, to the Moodle. For example, in the next meeting, and uh, you can uh, do your your exercises your exercises in uh, in, in this environment. And I, I can see what uh, what you are doing, and uh, I can also help you in case uh, you you have any uh, need for help. If you if you uh, cannot do something, you cannot find out uh, exactly what is something. So uh, I assume that everybody can log into this uh, virtual computer lab. If not, then. Uh, you can ask on the on the chat or with a, a mic for, for help, or you can send an email for, for help. 
Okay, thank you. Looks great. So uh, about Moodle, uh, probably most most of you know about Moodle, which is a very uh, old and very successful and very uh, widespread uh, open source program used in many uh, universities. Uh, it has uh, countless uh, features, and because it is modular and uh, it can uh, uh, it, it can uh, be it can install plugins and there are uh, lots of plugins that are developed for, for Moodle, which have different features. But uh, to use it for a simple course, you just need a couple of features and it is actually very, very easy. Uh, so if you start using Moodle for the first time, especially as an administrator, uh, uh, you might get intimidated because of the a uh, great number of, of features, but uh, actually uh, with time you will see that it is not so difficult. Uh, it's easy because th there are just a few of features that you, you need to use. And uh, the basic uh, block of Moodle uh, is the course. So a, a course is like a, a independent uh, entity. Uh, the courses can be organized in categories and subcategories. And courses can be composed of, of uh, smaller parts uh, like uh, activities, uh, resources, uh, plugins, blogs, uh, filters, modules, etc. And uh, also, Moodle has the concept of uh, uh, of roles for the users. So a user can have a certain role. For example, it can be an admin or a teacher or a student or a guest, etc. Uh, for example, in a certain course, uh, one or two uh, users are uh, teachers. They have the role of teachers. Uh, and on another course, they have the role of uh, a student. And uh, depending on, on the role uh, of the user, of, of the user uh, also, they have different permissions. Uh, they can, uh, a teacher can do something more than uh, a student. Uh, a student can interact with the course, but a teacher can also change uh, its, its content, uh, activities and, and resources. And of course, uh, the admin of the site uh, can change uh, anything in the, uh, in the site and also uh, the configurations of, of, of the site. Uh, so, uh, I, I'd like to uh, create a test a, a test uh, course for each of the participants and uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to do it. Uh, log out as a Dashami and then I will log in as an admin. So now, now I am as an admin on the course and I go to uh, site administration. And then here there are some different sections of uh, administrations of of the administration of the server, and we go to uh, to courses. Uh, here there is a. You are still on my screen, right? Sorry. You are still on my screen. Is this is this your intention? Uh, I I don't understand. Uh, I I'm sharing my screen with in the blue button. Uh, so, uh, sorry, I, I got, sorry, I got you wrong. I got you wrong. Now everything is fine, I think. Okay, uh, are you looking at a big blue button now? So uh, everybody now look at the blue button. You can even close the uh, the virtual computer lab because we are not going to use it uh, today uh, anymore. Maybe in the next uh, in the next meeting. So I'm closing it for myself. So everybody now should be looking at the big, big blue button. And uh, I am sharing my screen on the blue button. And here I am uh, working on the Moodle site as an administrator. So we go to courses and then manage courses and categories. English, uh, this is one of the categories. And I'm going to uh, create a, a new category. Uh, this will be a parent category is English. So this will be a subcategory of English. Uh, 
category name uh, Debian Academy. And uh, create category. So we have a new category under English. Uh, we go to this category and then uh, create. We can create create new courses. Create new course. Now, uh, I I need a, a list of participants in 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 this course. And uh, let's open it in another tab. Go to participants and uh, let let's say that we start with Frank. Uh, I'm going to uh, to create a, a course uh, for Frank. Uh, right now, I'm uh, making the the name of the course with the name of the uh, of the students in this case or participant in this course and course uh, short name. Debian Academy, let's say 10, for example. Course category, it is correct. We don't need to change it. English Debian Academy. And uh, I'm not going to change anything else because we are going to do this in the next uh, meeting. Just uh, save it and return. Uh, now, I change the settings of this. Uh, we have we have this new course. Uh, the title the title will, will, will be changed by Frank in the next uh, lesson, and also the description, etc., and uh, other settings of the course. Uh, I'm just using the name of the user so that we know which course is for for which user. Now I have to make Frank a teacher in this course so that he can uh, modify and customize this course. He can work on it. Uh, this is for the settings. I'm opening it on, on, new, on a new tab. So I'm to, to this course, uh, to the participants of this course, there is no participant for the time being, and enroll users. And uh, the role is a manager. And we have Frank uh, with role manager. I'm going to add also the role teacher. And I save it here at this uh, icon. So the, the roles of uh, Frank are manager and, and teacher. And uh, from now on, Frank can uh, play with this course even before the next meeting and see what is uh, possible to do in it. Of course, we will do it on the next meeting, but if you are uh, curious, you can you can uh, play around with it. So uh, let let's do it for another user. For example, for Gerald. So create a new course. Where where is Gerald? Okay. Anyway, I I just remember his name, Gerald. Course short name, Debian Academy 11, and then just save. So we have uh, another course. I, I go to the settings of this course. And uh, actually, to the participants and, and enroll users. Here, I am searching for the user Gerald. And I'm giving him the, I'm assigning him the role manager, enroll, enroll users. I'm making him also a teacher. Save. And uh, I'm done with this. With this, uh, Jason, Jason, 
Şöyle. Biraz kısa. And uh, here go to the settings. And enroll users. Uh, and we're, we're, I'm done with this user. And then uh, next, Paolo, Paolo Santana. Can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. Um, is it possible to, let's say, have two teachers on the course? Of course, it is possible. For example, uh, let's say that uh, uh, for this course, uh, I'm going to add uh, myself as a teacher uh, as well. Okay. Can you can you add Gerald as a teacher so we can do the course together? Uh, yes, of course. Yes. Uh, okay. And. Uh, uh, now that you are a manager and the teacher of this course, you can also do it uh, yourself. You can, I guess, you can add another teacher to this course because you are a manager, uh, and I guess it has uh, more privileges that, than uh, a teacher. Oh yes, so, this, is, this is interesting because Gerald and I we are working together for years. Okay, so this would, and, be, uh, this would be great to to play with this. Yes, and uh, you you go to the uh, to the participants. And then uh, enroll users, and then uh, you search for the user by typing uh, Y. Okay, uh, get on. And uh, I'm adding it just uh, as a teacher. Uh, it can also, there is a, another role, uh, non editing uh, teacher. Uh, but uh, teacher ha has more more options, and so uh, you have these two uh, uh, teachers in the course. This is wonderful, excellent, yoo Yes, uh, and uh, I think we have just a couple of uh, other users that are present, and I'm going to create uh, a course for them as well. And uh, then I will complete the rest of the courses uh, after after this uh, meeting. Uh, Russell Armstrong. General users. Okay. And, uh, Sanya Rayan and Shantila.
and the, the last one something Okay, we are done with this part. So uh, for the next uh, meeting, we need to, to know uh, the title of the course that we are uh, going to uh, to create and to work on. We just created it, but we need to customize, modify it. And also the description, some uh, resources, etc. cetera. And uh, uh, I, I have created an assignment uh, for this to uh, just to help participants with uh, uh, getting this information. Uh, no, here. So here there is a section assignment, but it is actually uh, hidden from the students. To to create a new section, uh, we need to turn on uh, edit mode, which is here and uh, then I can add a topic for example uh, here af after the outline for example I can add a new topic uh, I can modify the uh, the title of the topic or the name of the topic for example Simon and then enter and uh, now we can add an activity uh, or resource for for this topic, and uh, these are all the activities and resources. These are only the resources. So resources are some static information, like a file, for example, or a folder, or a label, a page, uh, a URL. So these are the resources, and activities uh, they include some kind of interactivity. For example, uh, Bibli button that we are using uh, to communicate right now, or assignment, uh, a chat, etc., feedback, and so on. In this case, uh, we are going to add an assignment. So, what does an assignment do? This I here is for information, and it, sh uh, it uh, shows us a uh, description of, of this activity. So the ass assignment activity module enables the teacher to communicate tasks, uh, collect work and provide grades and, and feedback and so on. So I just click add and uh, assignment, assignment name. Or assignment title. Uh, So this is the des description of the assignment. Uh, display description on course page. I'm clicking uh, this one. Uh, there are some other options. Now, uh, I'm uh, disabling these uh, time limitations. So uh, when to start submitting and up to uh, which uh, limit. Also, this one remind me to grade. Uh, submission types. 
an assignment, uh, an assignment can be submitted as an essay uh, with an uh, online text. You write text in a text box or with uh, file su submissions, uh, one or more file submission, submissions. In this case, I just want you to fill a text box with some information. Uh, feedback types, submission settings. Uh, these, are, these are okay. They don't need to be changed. Notifications. Great, great type. Uh, now, uh, I'm not going to grade uh, this assignment. This is just uh, to help you with uh, the needed information or to, to guide you in this uh, learning process. And just uh, save it and display. And uh, this is how it looks. Let me try to switch to another role. Uh, I'm using it as a student. Actually, I should get uh, a button here for uh, submitting the necessary detail. Uh, let me switch back to the normal role, which is the administrator in this case. Administrator. And uh, actually, I just created uh, I just created this uh, topic and this uh, this assignment in this topic. But uh, I, I had created it previously, but it was hidden from the students. So I'm just going to make visible uh, the ones that I created previously. So, and uh, I'm going to, to delete uh, this activity and this uh, topic. Delete. And also the, this, top, this topic. So it is uh, the assignment that I created previously. Uh, submit your course details. So uh, you can you can start doing it uh, right now, or you can uh, complete it at home. Uh, if you if you don't have all the so uh, I try to. Log out from administrator and try to log in as my uh, user. Actually, I don't Uh, I am posting the link for the assignment on the on the chat in the blue button. Uh, I don't know if you open this uh, this page. Uh, what do you see? Do you see a submit a page or something like this or complete assignment? Because I couldn't tell. Even if I switch the role, ah, add submission. Okay, here. So. Uh, I'm uh, looking now as a, to it to the I'm looking to the assignment as a student, and so the student uh, see, uh, has this button at submission. So if I uh, click on this button at submission, then there is an uh, a text box here that uh, the that you can complete. For example, uh, I'm going to uh, build a course myself uh, as a demonstration. And my course will be about uh, Debian uh, and uh, EDU. So uh, the the title of the course. Uh, let me uh, make this having small title. Or. Uh, Let me uh, move it a little bit. And then uh, what else do we need? Uh, a course description. Description.
maybe I will make it a little bit uh, longer later, but for the time being, this, this is okay. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, resources, uh, PDF files, URLs, uh, etc. For example, uh, I'm going to uh, list the documentation page of uh, Debian EDU as a resource. Uh, I have also written a, a technical blog about how to install Debian EDU uh, in a virtual environment with LXD. I will list this one as a resource as well. And uh, the outline of the course is optional. If you have a good idea about what you are going to do uh, during the course, you, you can describe it. Uh, if not, you can just uh, leave it uh, this much. So uh, I, I have done the assignment. So you are going to do something similar uh, like this, I, either here or after the course, if you don't have a clear idea uh, what should be done. So I think uh, this was uh, for today. Uh, let's see what else we have in the outline. So introduction of the course, virtual uh, computer lab, overview of model features, create a model course for each participant. Okay. So uh, in the next uh, uh, meeting, we will start to edit the course that uh, I created today. So each one of you will edit his own course and uh, we will change the title and uh, the description uh, of the course. Uh, and then uh, we, we will see the details uh, in, the, in the next course. Uh, that, that's why you, you have to uh, to, to have a title and a course title and a course uh, description so that you can start working on, on the course. So I, I think that we are we are done for today. Uh, do you have any questions or something some something else? Uh, yes, I have. <clears throat> so uh, creating the course and adjusting the course, um, this is our homework, so to speak. Uh, no, uh, I, I created the course for you because I am no. administrator in Moodle and only the administrator can create a course, uh, can create a new course. So uh, I just created uh, the course for you and not for everybody. I, uh, I will create a course for everybody after, the, uh, after we close this uh, meeting, after the meeting. Mm -hmm. So okay. uh, in, the next, in the next meeting, uh, uh, everybody will have a course uh, where he is a teacher. And, uh, if you are a teacher in a course, then you can start editing it. Uh, you can change the settings, you can change uh, the title, description, etc. And we are going to do this in the next uh, meeting. Okay, but if we want to, we can connect to it now and we can also change it or we can also adjust it and play with it. Yes, of course. So if you have time and if you are uh, curious, uh, you can start playing around with it. Uh, you can never go wrong. If you mess something, we can delete the course and we can recre recreate it from, from the sketch. Uh, so it is safe. Uh, no problem. You, you can just play with it. This is excellent. Great. Thank you. Wonderful. You're welcome. It's did, a pleasure. Okay. I didn't get how I didn't get these steps that you use to create the assignment. Can you show? Uh, just these steps? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, so, uh, uh, 
I'm here in the assign, uh, assignments topic. This is how I organize this course, but you can organize differently. For example, you can put an assignment uh, after each uh, lesson, for example. This course is not organized in lessons. So this is one assignment. Uh, let me create uh, another assignment. Uh, first of all, I go to my uh, normal role, which is a, a teacher. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have to enable the edit mode. So before you change the content of the course, uh, if you change uh, the resources or activities, you have to uh, enable the edit mode. So now that I enable the edit mode, there is this add an activity or resource this uh, plus here so at the end of, of uh, each topic the topics are these ones with uh, uh, with this uh, kind of heading of the topics and each topic can have resources or activities and uh, at the end you have uh, you have an option uh, a button to uh, add new uh, resources or activities so add an activity or resource do you see this i, I click this one and i get this interface and uh, it depends what, what kind of activity or what kind of resource you want to add. Uh, the activity that uh, I uh, used for the assignment is this one, assignment. I can just click this one and I start uh, editing the new assignment. And uh, let's say that this is the second assignment. And uh, you need a description for the assignment, the, what uh, this assignment is about. In, in our, in our, the, in the course that you create for each one. So I can see just the, the main screen of courses, settings, participatings. Uh, sorry? The course that you create for each one, uh -huh. for each of us. I can mm -hmm. see the number of the course and course settings, participants, grades. Yes, yes, I, uh, like, I, I like this one. Yes, course. Yes, so I will be on. I have to go. Sorry. Where I have to go to create the assignment in my in in our course because our course team is very empty. Different from yeah, yeah, from yes, yes, it, it is uh, it is still empty. We will start to uh, work on it uh, on the next uh, lesson. Uh, ah, even okay, this, okay. Yeah, uh, we will start uh, to work on it on the next meeting. Yes, okay. uh, we are so, not done with it yet. Yes. Ah, okay. We don't have this 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 part yet. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, even this uh, uh, creating assignments uh, is a little bit uh, advanced. Maybe you don't don't ah. need an assignment in your course or in your course at all. But I created an assignment and I, I just showed to you to get mm -hmm. uh, a feeling for the Moodle or. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. you don't have to do it right now. Maybe uh, after the la uh, at the last meeting, you uh, you will be very co comfortable with Moodle and you will. Uh, you will see that it is very easy to, to create an assignment. Yes. Mm -hmm. See. Nice. So, so if you are a little bit. Confused? It, it's okay. Don't don't worry about it. Okay. I have Any another question. Yes, okay. I have another question. Which interactive elements can you use? Because I saw that you can add tasks, you can add assignments, you can add, let's say, um, surveys. You can also um, add certain elements and tasks, which interactive elements can you add? Can you add, for example, um, videos? Uh, videos are not interactive elements. They are considered uh, resources, not uh, an activity. So a video is not interactive. You just uh, watch it. Uh, there is no interaction between the user and the course, like an assignment, for example. An assignment is interactive because uh, the user has to sub submit something and then the teacher can uh, review and evaluate it and assign a grade and, and so on. So uh, let, let me uh, cancel this one first. So uh, if you click here, uh, these are the activities that uh, you can add. And activities are interactive uh, kind of uh, blocks. So you have assignment, you have big blue button. We will see this one as well uh, during the course. Uh, there is chat, uh, 
which I think we don't need uh, for this course. Uh, choice, uh, database, external tool, uh, feedback. Uh, we have a feedback uh, here, which is a survey. This uh, quick survey uh, is, is a feedback, I think. And the uh, forum, we already have a forum. We will see how to use the forum in this course. Uh, glossary, we, we will not uh, discuss it in this course. HP, uh, H5P uh, lesson of uh, offline quiz. Uh, we will see the quiz uh, by the end of this course, I think. Uh, scoring package, uh, I think, is a little bit advanced. Uh, survey, yeah, this scorm, is easy. Scorm. But Scrum is quite advanced, yes. Yes. Uh, and wiki and workshop. So these are the activities that are currently uh, present, but they are uh, very much dependent on the plugins that you install. Uh, if you install additional pl plugins, then in this list, you will see uh, some more activities, some additional uh, activities. For example, this offline quiz uh, does not come installed by default. I, I have installed it uh, a few years ago because I needed uh, this kind of uh, functionality and uh, this big blue button for example uh, used to be an external uh, plugin uh, in the previous versions of uh, Moodle but uh, with the latest version of Moodle Moodle 4.0 uh, 4 it is a, a built-in uh, feature so you don't have to uh, I guess you don't have to install a special plugin for 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 this activity it is uh, installed by default when you install install this uh, big blue button uh, activity as well. So most of these uh, activities are uh, installed by default with Moodle, but some of them like this one, for example, that I mentioned uh, is installed with a special uh, plugin. So I install an additional plugin in, in order to get this uh, fun functionality or this, uh, uh, this activity. Uh, did, did I answer your question or do you have some more uh, questions? Thank you. Thank you. You answered all my, you answered all my questions. I'm just curious because one of my, one of my training partners also uses Moodle. And mm -hmm. so I was just wondering which, how, how it differs. And so I, well, it's, it's great to learn that you can uh, adapt, uh, adjust it. So that you can install additional modules and so that you can change what is available. It's great to see that. Yes, yes. Moodle has lots of lots of uh, plugins and uh, it, it has lots of features. And actually, in this course, we are just going to sketch the surface uh, of Moodle. Uh, but I think that that's enough to, to have an effective course. Even, uh, even with just a few features, uh, we can build a, a nice course, I think. Yeah, I think it's excellent. It's excellent. Thank you. Thank you for selecting the right ones. And uh, also, uh, I, I've installed the latest version of Moodle, uh, which is uh, 4.0 uh, and, and something. And uh, maybe if... Uh, uh, if, the, if there is a legacy system which has been in use for many years, for example, probably they are still at the uh, at an old uh, version of Moodle, uh, which is uh, 3.11, uh, I think, or, so, or something. Uh, because switching from uh, 3.11 to 4.0 uh, has some small uh, incompati incompatibilities, uh, especially related with uh, with big blue button since big blue button now is a built-in feature it is a little bit uh, uh, incompatible with uh, for example if you have recorded some lessons with the old version of moodle uh, probably if you don't handle it properly properly you can uh, lose those recordings uh, this i've seen this from the discussions in uh, in the internet about uh, the new the latest version of moodle so now I'm, I'm using the latest version of Moodle, which is 4.0 with a, a theme that is called uh, class. So even the theme uh, can make a difference. So you can look at uh, the Moodle on another side, but it has a different theme. And maybe you can get a little bit confused, but if you, are, uh, if you have a good experience with Moodle, you can find uh, your way uh, around easily, I think. 
So maybe it doesn't look exactly the same like this one. Maybe it looks a little bit different, but I think it is a matter of the theme that is being used. Yeah, I I see I see a lot of I um, I now see a lot of elements which I uh, recognize from the other theme, so it's good to see for differences. But this one, this one looks great. Sorry. Yeah, this one, this one looks great. Okay. This one. So, any other questions? Okay, if there are no more questions, then uh, we can close the meeting for today. And then uh, see you next week. Uh, it was a pleasure uh, for me to 